Hey everyone, I'm Suresh. Um, we have been learning app cache. Let's continue from where we have left in our last uh, video. So I have to show you one more uh, area uh, that is, you know, uh, the app cache content. Uh, what you see here that belongs to this uh, app cache host. Mm, that's what you see here. You can uh, see it from one more place. That's what I'm going to show you. So you can directly type in, in the URL app cache internals and uh, you can see here, uh, this is the this is the app cache host which we are dealing with now and click on this one, you'll see the details. And here you can see that only two resources and this one and uh, the one which we see it in the Chrome web developer tool. Uh, now, now at the moment they look similar, they look same. Okay, they have uh, same data. What I'm going to do, I have added uh, this um, mm, network, right? Now, let me uh, refresh the page and uh, this page, right? I'm going to refresh this page. I just refreshed, I did once. And uh, let see here it didn't uh, show any updates okay but uh, let me go here and uh, refresh this part now click on give details I don't see anything let's see what's happening I refresh Yeah, so when I refresh, um, you won't see any uh, changes in this area because we are not caching anything, but you see the document appeared uh, fine. Uh, let's see the network panel. So if you look at uh, this network panel, uh, it served uh, the index.html from uh, the app cache and uh, all other resources it uh, served or you know it, it actually requested uh, over the network yeah. it says 304 304 uh, it, uh, these uh, resources are coming from uh, the browser cache uh, but it made uh, uh, the request over the network uh, to the uh, server let's see in the server log you would know you see here uh, cache CSS app cache JS with that uh, you can see it uh, requested index.html and the cache manifest also. So that means uh, whenever you make any change uh, in your manifest file, it's going to download uh, all the resources. Okay, let me show you once again. Let me refresh this one. And if you look at this, server log you can see app the CSS and JS files uh, were served uh, from the server which we expected I stress this point so though the index uh, uh, though the index.html is cached uh, in the app cache whenever you refresh uh, it's going to serve the data from the app cache uh, first then immediately it's going to make a call uh, to fetch a manifesto from the server so that the client knows that if there is any difference any modification in the manifest file okay mm. let me uh, change make some changes in this file but well, that's why i kept this version number in the command okay so this is how you are going to refresh your cache uh, in the browser side so you have to make a change in your manifest file mm, so that the next uh, request uh, uh, when the browser makes uh, it will look at this manifest and come to know that uh, mm, there is a change in the manifest and uh, it, it starts downloading all the resources uh, let's see now we made a change modification in the manifest it has to download all the resources okay so 
so in this refresh now the page what you are seeing it came uh, from the local cache okay this is the one which is stored earlier first it will serve the page from the or content from the uh, app cache then it will make a call uh, to the server see it made a call to the server and uh, it fetched all the resources again uh, these all are not reflecting here okay that is stored but it's not reflecting the next uh, refresh uh, would have uh, these fetched content mm, that uh, you should know uh, the other thing is that uh, how we would know that you can see it here now update ready that means the cache is uh, updated okay it's ready for the update uh, if you refresh then it's going to um, have uh, the uh, the updated uh, uh, content in the cache so it doesn't say idle now update is ready uh, okay uh, let me refresh now I did a refresh you can see that now whatever content you see here that is the latest uh, that means whatever it requested uh, in the previous request uh, with that uh, the app storage area is updated and it is idle now okay um, let me go here let me show you one more thing now what I'm gonna do mm, I would uh, I can explicitly say that hey uh, right now it does a caching only the uh, the index.html uh, that happens by default uh, but I am going to tell uh, the browser that hey cache uh, this JS file also okay I said that I'm gonna refresh this see this JS file is served from like over the network okay you can see it over here it it, it uh, served from uh, the you know from the server app cache JS manifest and after that um, after fetching this manifest the client uh, came to know that uh, there is there was a change made in that uh, manifest and then it started uh, reading and requesting app cache again uh, index.html then cache manifest okay um, it will download all the resources now what happened it has already downloaded uh, and uh, you know uh, downloaded the app cache js and it is going to swap it in, into the uh, cache if you go here you don't see it okay you don't uh, see it here but it will say update ready okay so the downloaded content uh, that you can see it uh, in this app cache internal i refreshed go here but you can see it here see it is in the app cache internal the js file which we just uh, you know uh, asked uh, the client to store here you don't see it but if we refresh it then uh, uh, it will uh, swap the cache that means um, it would appear here let me and this uh, state would change it to idle let me refresh again you can see it over here and uh, this type it says explicit um, <coughs> I'll come to that uh, why it is not serving CSS Let me refresh. Yeah, 
for some reason. Um, it's fine. Refresh. You see that now the JS file is uh, served from uh, the app cache. Okay. So this CSS file is uh, being served still uh, uh, by the server. <coughs> uh, in reality, actually, it's not from the server. Mm -hmm. This is from the browser cache. Okay, that's what you are seeing uh, three or four, but not from app cache. That's what I'm trying to say. And it made a, a, a request uh, to the server as well. So you can see it over here. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, hmm, I'm, okay, before that. Now we know that uh, app cache, uh, uh, you know, the CSS file is, uh, served over the network how we can confirm that just go offline refresh it it failed uh, second time you know yeah you see that um, this HTML markup and uh, JS file are being served from uh, uh, app cache uh, but uh, CSS it made a request, it tried to make a request uh, to the server, mm, but it failed because uh, we are not online. So how are we going to solve this? So uh, uh, there is an option called, uh, let me go online. There is an option called uh, fallback. What I'm going to do, I'm going to tell the browser, hey, if you don't find uh, this CSS file, then use the other CSS file which I have. The other CSS file I have just copied uh, this app cache uh, CSS and uh, changed uh, just the background color to red. You see here, that's the only change I made. Okay, so the fallback uh, CSS uh, would have uh, a red background that's it and now you see that I have uh, made a change into this file I don't need to change this uh, version um, because it's already changed okay you may need to change this one uh, whenever you make a change in these resource files for example if I make a change into this uh, CSS file then you know it's not necessarily that uh, this manifest file is changed but I want to uh, throw the updated CSS file right in that case you have to come here and uh, update something uh, most of the people use a version number so you can update that to make sure that uh, all the updated uh, resources are served out of the server let me refresh Go here you see all the resources are downloaded mm. I wanted to tell you this also so this is one of the disadvantages of uh, using app cache whenever there is a change in the manifest it's going to download all the resources uh, again irrespective of whether the resources are uh, changed uh, modified or not now uh, you go here it's not swapped because update it is updated but it's not swapped uh, but we can see that uh, here in this so you can see the the fallback uh, CSS is fetched from the server and kept in the internal cache then next uh, refresh it will update to yeah you can see it here 
So uh, I'm using uh, Chrome Canary, uh, which is uh, which is a uh, dev version of uh, Chrome. So it might have uh, some problems, where, you know, unknown uh, problems or something. That's why I needed to just close this uh, dev tool and open it again to see it. And now go to this network panel and uh, go offline. Let me refresh. See, when I refreshed, I got uh, a fallback CSS applied. So what happened, uh, this CSS, now you can see this CSS, uh, app cache uh, CSS is coming from the app cache storage. But we haven't, uh, uh, the, app, the app cache storage uh, doesn't have the actual app cache. Uh, we just asked it to store uh, the fallback CSS, right? Uh, so whenever it doesn't find, uh, the browser doesn't find, uh, or, or whenever it goes offline, um, it is going to serve the fallback CSS. That's what happening. Now you go online, refresh it. You are going to get uh, this CSS uh, file from the server. See, that's a fallback option. So, what else I wanted to show here? Um, Oh, you don't need to refresh all the time. Um, uh, let me show some JavaScript part. So here you go. Okay, let's uh, see the rest uh, in the next video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, see you again.